Death Note. This is an anime I finally watched after hearing about it for so long. A lot of people consider it to be a masterpiece and one of, if not the best anime out there. Personally, while I don't think it's the absolute best, I do think it's a great series. One thing people seem to not be particularly fond of, aside from everything after L's death, is the ending. I've seen a bunch of comments saying how the ending was disappointing and unsatisfying for reasons such as near busting light instead of L, light dying in too much of a pathetic way due to one stupid mistake, and it being rushed. I, however, believe the ending was a great way to wrap up this great series. It was really satisfying to see Light completely and utterly defeated after getting his way for so long. And the way it happens makes perfect sense to Light's character. While it's true he always planned everything carefully, he had one major weakness, his arrogance. Let me take you back to episode 2, where this weakness of his was first exposed when L confronted him by using a man who was scheduled to be executed that day, claiming to be L, to which Light responded by killing him. This mistake helped El know in what region of Japan Light was in, and that there are some people he can't kill, which later in the series helped him figure out that he needs a name and face to kill. Light, the master planner, took his bait because he didn't think of the possibility of anyone being clever enough to pull something like this off. He underestimated El and was very sure he won, which caused him to act recklessly and not as carefully as he usually did. Now let's go back to the ending. Light was sure that he won as he predicted that Nier would replace the pages of the notebook and had Mikami make a fake notebook which he would appear to be writing in when in actuality it's Takada who would be doing the killings. However, his plan failed due to Mikami going to the bank and writing Takada's name in the death note which allowed one of the SPK members to find it and take it then replace it with a replica he made. Light was so sure his plan would succeed that he overlooked the possibility of Mikami screwing up and didn't tell him to check the notebook after getting it. He also underestimated Nier like he underestimated L in episode 2, ironically calling him far inferior to L and thinking he had absolutely no chance of stopping his brilliant plan. Light's arrogance is what ultimately caused his downfall. Now let's get to the other major issue people have with descending, Light being caught by Nier and not L. To tell you the truth, I like Nier. Both him and Melo were welcomed additions to the series and while they're not as great as L, they're still pretty darn cool. Nier was cold and calculating, seeming almost emotionless and detached. Melo, on the other hand, was more emotional and straightforward, being quick to take action instead of carefully thinking. Both of them represent two sides of L, but we also feel like their own characters. Some of you may argue that Nier is a copy of L. I disagree. Nier is shown to be different to L in him expressing much less emotion, being quite cocky and preferring to stay in one place and figure things out instead of going out and taking action which he assigns the members of the SPK to do for him. So no, personally I had no problem with Nier busting light and actually like that both him and Melo managed to avenge L in the end. My favorite moment has to be light seeing L before dying to show that even though L himself has lost, his legacy carried on and Kira was defeated by his successors. There are also other smaller things I like about the ending such as Ryuk being the one to kill Light and Matsuda shooting him. Overall, I said this is a well-written and fitting ending for Death Note. That's it for the video. I hope you liked it, and if not, tell me where I can improve. Bye-bye.